Some of the main parameters that describe the robot's behavior are stored in the configuration file. The configuration file is formatted in YAML. YAML is a human-readable language that can be used in many applications where data is being stored. The configuration file is called config.yaml, and it's located in the main directory of the API. It's best not to edit the configuration file directly. To view, edit, and manipulate the configuration file, it's best to use the methods provided in the API or in the Dorna software. Let's get familiar with the parameters available to you. The first parameter is unit. Here we set the robot's length unit system. By setting the unit system, every quantity with that dimension will be interpreted in that unit system, unless otherwise specified. For example, if the length unit system is set to millimeters, then every quantity with the distance dimension will be interpreted in millimeters. The available keys are millimeters and inch. The next parameter is the axis parameter. This parameter stores the options for the axes of the robot. The available keys and associated values are the number key. Dorna is a five axis robotic arm, and by default, the number of axes is set to five. The controller box supports a sixth axis for either a tool head or mounting Dorna on a rail. If you're using a sixth axis, then you can change the number key from five to six. The next parameter is the default speed. This parameter holds the default speed for the robot during a motion. There are two types of default speed, joint and XYZ. For the joint key, this is the default speed of the robot in joint space and is given in degrees per minute. For the XYZ key, the default speed of the robot is in XYZ Cartesian space and is given in the robot length unit system per minutes. Now let's talk about default jerk. Jerk is defined as the time derivative of the acceleration. The jerk values are usually very large and the values here are divided by 1 million. Like default speed, there are two types of default jerk, joint and XYZ. The first key is joint which defines the default jerk of the robot in the joint space. It's a list of five elements and is given in degrees per minutes cubed. The default joint jerk only applies to the situation where the path parameter in a move command is equal to joint. If the key is XYZ, the default jerk for the robot in the Cartesian XYZ space is another list of five elements. The XYZ default jerk only applies to the situation where the path parameter in a move command is equal to line. The five elements in the array represent the default jerk for the five axes, x, y, z, a, and b. The first three axes, x, y, and z, are given in the robot length unit per minute cubed, and the last two axes, a and b, are given in degrees per minutes cubed. For both speed and jerk, when you give the robot a move command, the robot will move at the default values. If you specify your path as line, the robot will move with the default x, y, z speed and XYZ jerk. If you change the speed or the jerk, the robot will continue to move with those values until it's changed again. Or if you change the path parameter to join. Then if you change back to line, the robot will move with its default speed or jerk values. The next parameter is the calibrate parameter. This parameter holds the calibration values for the joints J0, J1, J2, J3, and J4. By setting these calibration values, we make sure that the joints always return to the true values after the homing process. The next parameter is the tool head parameter. It's necessary to adjust the length of the tool head every time we change it. The key is X, which is the length of the tool head in the robot length unit system. The limit parameter. This parameter sets the rotary limit for the three joints, J0, J1, and J2. If the joint has a rotary limit of, say, A and B, then the joint cannot go above B degrees or below A degrees. So setting the limits is a helpful way to make sure the robot won't crash into itself or its surroundings. The available keys are J0, J1, and J2, and the values are the lower and upper limit. Note that your lower limit must be less than your upper limit. Now let's talk about the motion parameter. The first key is JT also known as the junction integration time. This is the key that sets the cornering velocity limits. JT is a normalized scaled factor that is normally set to one. Set this key less than one for slower cornering and greater than one, but probably less than four for more aggressive cornering. GPA, path control mode is a parameter to tell the robot how to behave at the end of each path. There are three modes, 
zero is the exact path mode, one is the exact stop mode, and two is the continuous mode. CT, also known as the chordal tolerance. Arcs are generated as a set of very short, straight lines that approximate a curve. Each line is a chord that spans the endpoints of that segment of the arc. Chordal tolerance sets the maximum allowable deviation between the true arc and the straight line that approximates it. Setting chordal tolerance high will make curves rougher, but they can execute faster. Setting them smaller will make for smoother arcs that may take longer to execute. The default value is 0.01 millimeters. That's all for this tutorial. To see the complete documentation for the configuration file, you can refer to the Dorna wiki or refer to the links in the descriptions below.